this oh lord that was a lot Welcome back to my channel. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin' tin? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Breelyn. Today is going to be my first day of work vlog. My first big girl job. We're gonna talk about that later. Basically, right now, it's actually the day before. So if you guys saw my last vlog, I moved out of my apartment in Raleigh on July 31st. Yesterday, we had to bring everything in. That's all a part of the previous vlog. Today is Sunday, August 2nd, and I start work tomorrow, August 3rd. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to vlog too much while actually working tomorrow. I want to make sure that I kept it entertaining, fresh and fun for you guys and show you guys some scenery other than my car because most of this vlog is basically going to be a recap of before and after. At least I think so. I don't know. But yeah, I'm here at my mom's house. I'm going to take you guys along with us today. First up, we're going to get some pedicures, mainly because I broke my toenail in half. I told you guys my toenails are so weak. I broke it in half while moving and it really bothers me to have really long toenails while I'm wearing sneakers. So I'm going to be wearing sneakers every day. So we're just going to head out right now and take care of that. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Exactly, you wasn't home when the plans was made. No matter. You better run, boy. Well, you know, I have me a gel set, so. On your toes? Oh my, I mean, I have like a. Where you go, get your pedicure at? I have a UV light. A oh. gel polish. So you're saying that you do it yourself. Oh. Very nice. I mean, I can do my nails myself too. My nails are well, one thing, but my toes. Well, yeah, my toes has gel. Right now, so I, I could that's long. just one thing I just can't do my toes myself my hands I can do but toes are easier because you yeah. have both hands mm -hmm. but my it's because like my toes they're special okay they break mm -hmm. they need proper care they can't be out here looking crazy my nails are pretty so it's really hard to mess them up you can put clear on them and they look great but my toes you can't just put clear on your toes people be out here just clear on your toes looking crazy I gotta cool now First girl's day out. In years. <laughs> then I was like, when's the last time you've ever done this? And I'm like, we haven't. But that's why I was teenagers in school. That's because I used to have to go by myself, okay? I was going consistently. And then he says, huh? I said, I don't remember ever going, I remember going to prom. You took me to prom. But that didn't probably go more probably off with. So just think about that bill for one person to take a three pieces. Wasn't something I probably did a lot. I didn't even do my my own or not because of the expense. You know what I mean? Raising family, your toes is not important. You know I hear you, girl. Can't relate, but I hear you. <laughs> hey guys. Like, she's so. looking like they're coming in here. <laughs> no, we're not. They must be about to close it with 6.30. They close. They like to so. reopen appointments, please. Okay, guys. So, we just left the salon. I'll show you guys my toes, but you already know what they look like. They look like how they always look white. Um, I finally got the acrylic off of them, which I'm super excited about. Next up, we're here at the scrub store. It's my first time going to a scrub, st scrub store. Come on, Tongue we got to go to the bathroom. Okay. Fast. Can you go inside and see if they have a bathroom, please? They don't have a bathroom in here. Go. Go, so honey. Do it. Do it. Go to Aldi. I don't like to be rushed while I'm vlogging. Basically, you guys know that in my previous job, I had to wear navy scrubs. Here, I have to wear gray scrubs, and they actually provide scrubs, uh, custom scrubs. Tomorrow, my first day, they're going to measure me for my custom scrubs. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I can't see me. <laughs> I'm like, yes, but um, 
for my first day they told me to wear gray scrubs and I don't have any and I'm pretty sure that they're only gonna give me like three or four pairs so I want to make sure that I have some gray scrubs myself and also for my birthday my mom asked me what I wanted and I was like only thing that I can really think of that I really like need and want right now are scrubs because that's what I'm gonna be wearing every day so she's treating me to some scrubs and I need some gray ones so yes we're here at Scrub Pro uniforms in the door. Right, yeah, so I just want to take you guys along with me. Let's get shopping. The gray. Hi. Uh, no, they don't. You're talking to Raiz though. Right, and you're not wearing them all day. These are made for all day. You probably will see As a person who works with uh, people with disabilities, <laughs> as you exactly, as you, come on, come on, we can walk, mom. <laughs> it's not about that. It's about not parking next to anybody. I have to find a space where. Okay, I'll back up that gray truck over there. Thank you. That's what it's really about. It's not. It's not about. You know, I love to walk. <laughs> I mean, I would park way down there. I feel like stay just because he keeps staring. What's I know. the problem? <laughs> Man, it's not like I ain't authorized. You see, I'm authorized. It's 17 handicapped spaces, really. Is that an exaggerated number? Nope. Mm. I just counted them. Apparently, it's, this place is popping for the handicaps. And depending on how long y'all can be, y'all can really go in the front and put the hazards on. I ain't going there. Come on, 
Okay. So right now we're at we um, some basketball. I mean, some bike shorts in here. You been biking too, Brianna? Mm. Yeah, they got cushion on the butt. Yeah. Gotcha. So we're at Dick's Sporting Goods now because um, I wasn't really feeling those shoes. I wasn't completely sold. I was like, maybe, but I didn't want to make that investment decision. Thank you. At the moment. Oh, I wish I had my purse. This no purse life is whack. Oh, thank you. And my phone too, please. And then I'll just have to carry you guys. And let me get out a sip of water because this thing is heavy. Oh, it's not all. See how yeah, it's it poured rain while we were in there, and then all of a sudden it just stopped, and now it's hot again. Cause the sky is hot. It says I need to cool down, but yeah. So I want to get me some um, gray shoes. So horrible news. They don't have the shoes that um, I want. I just wanted the regular New Balances, and they didn't have them. And the help here. I call them help. The workers here. <laughs> Why are you walking like that? We had to drag her into the store. Promised her she can get some cycling shorts. This is what helps y'all and your booties. And y'all cycle. Anyway, so we're gonna try and go to another store. I took a picture of one that I may like, but they didn't have anything in, in stock for my big feet. You already know, big foot gang. It's hard out here. I'm just really nervous because if y'all don't know, I don't think I mentioned it a lot, but I have like chronic back pain. Um, it's actually really bad. And I know when I do long shifts, my back hurts really bad. So I wanna invest in some shoes that are really comfortable. That way I can eliminate that feeling. So anyway, might as well go ahead and put my mask back on. Ain't nobody around us though. It's pretty empty in here. Hey guys, okay, so it's a little bit later on, I'm trying to get the good lighting, checking in once again, so you can see that I'm in my car now, I'm driving around because, y'all, I'm so mad, they had none of the shoes that I wanted, and the mall was closed, so I couldn't find any shoes, I really should have just bought those ugly ones, they weren't ugly, but they were like $140 at the scrub store, so I think I'm just going to wait until September, because now I have a coupon code, but it doesn't work until September, and I get like 20% off my order, so I'm probably just going to buy those then, but for now, hopefully the shoes that I normally wear don't hurt my feet but they're not really meant to be walking around in for long periods of time and like I said my back hurts a lot so anyway other than that um I got in my car so that I could go because while we were there it's just uh all three of us in the house y'all like there's no space in the refrigerator basically while we were riding around we were talking about what we were going to eat because we're all hungry and my mom is on like this new meal plan thing that she's doing trying to lose weight and my sister is like doing something similar but different I'm probably going to join them in a couple of weeks but for now I'm not really pressed about eating super healthy I just I don't want to think about it right now I just want to eat what I want to eat and that means chicken and mumbo sauce because I haven't had that since I've been home so I placed an order to pick that up for dinner and I I was also thinking what am I gonna eat for lunchtime so I came here to Subway and I got Subway for my lunch just so that I could have something I don't really know how tomorrow's gonna work out um, I'm not gonna do it now but maybe tomorrow after work I'm gonna go to the grocery store get a whole bunch of salad packs and I'll probably eat salad for lunch at least I did find really cute scrubs at the store it was a bit difficult though because they didn't have a lot of long ones and I either like for my scrubs to be long or I like for them to be cuffed at the bottom because obviously I'm tall and I don't like to wear like the flares and it just so it's kind of difficult and they told me, like I told you guys, to get gray. And for some reason, like all the grades weren't matching up. So I went to like mix and match. And, but I found two tops and two bottoms. I'll show you guys when I get home after I get my chicken and mumble sauce. Hey guys, so it is later, like embarrassingly way way later <laughs> i don't even want to tell you how late it is right now but um when i got back home from running my errands i got like some chicken and mobile sauce and i got my subway sub for tomorrow's lunch or really today's lunch <laughs> once i got all of that and i came back and i ate my chicken and mobile sauce i knocked out honey and then i like woke up spastically because i didn't really prepare like i really want to prepare for my first day of work which is literally today so i still have a couple more hours pouring raining outside anyway so i told you guys i was going to show you the scrubs that i got so i'm gonna do a quick little haul yeah once i woke up in the middle of the night i said i might as well get up take a shower right now my hair was huge so i wanted to detangle it deep condition it and then you know just make sure that i was ready that way in a couple of hours when i have to wake back up i don't have to do too much in the morning time but i have to be at work by 7 45 tomorrow and it takes literally like 10 minutes to get there so i'm probably not going to leave until like 
um, maybe like 720 which means if I wake up by 7 I honestly should be fine and 7 is not too bad at all all. It's going to be definitely different when I move though because it will not be that close. I didn't even tell you guys about how my mom basically, once I finally got this job and I told her about it and I told her where it was, she was like, oh you can live with me like it's only 10 minutes down the street and da 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 da. And I was like, girl, you said that you didn't want me to live with you. You said that the offer wasn't open and now that it is. So um, I've been contemplating if I want to stay here and continue to live with my mom. But as you guys saw earlier, my sister is also here and... I don't know it just seems like a lot for all three of us to be living here i don't really know about that right now I'm having the hardest time making decisions lately i think i talked about it in did i talk about it in a vlog or a live or something about how my life feels very like red pill blue pill right now like it really feels like i've never even seen that movie but it feels like if i make one decision there's so much that can be behind one decision and i won't fully know all of that decision all the weight all the consequences or benefits that that decision has that that it held that it weighs like i won't really know until it's you know days weeks months years down the line and so recently i've just been having a really hard time making a decision even just small things like me getting the shoes at the store i was like oh do i really want to spend 140 on these shoes or do i want to get the shoes that i had in my mind and uh, i just I, I could not make up my mind and so which is so unlike me I'm usually very rash and I can make decisions and like have no regrets and I, I don't know I don't know what's gotten into me but anyway after I show you guys this stuff I am going to finish my online onboarding because my job has like literally sent me everything already so I was I hope I wish that my first day was going to be more so just like a tour around and me doing paperwork but since I'm doing the paperwork before I get there I don't know what tomorrow is going to hold um I'm just going to pray it out, pray it out, pray it out, just going to pray it out. But yeah, they've been sending me paperwork since they've hired me and I'm kind of moving slow on it to the point where I was like, okay, I need to get that done. And also, I didn't talk about this on a vlog, so I'll talk about it now. I have started up a weekly newsletter. Um, so I will have the link in the description box down below where you guys can sign up. But I basically just want another platform where I can talk to you guys candidly. As I mentioned, I want to get more involved. I want to get more consistent on my blog the beauty and brains blog on that weekly newsletter i basically just want to give a roundup of everything that's going on in the week on all of my different platforms in case you're not following me on everything as well as give you guys like some inside information some background stuff also if you're part of my weekly newsletter you will get the first dibs on apparel stuffs. we have scholarships coming up events coming up there's a lot of big things and so i definitely want to hone in on that community as well and my goal is to send out that newsletter every monday morning so i've been making it a point to write it on Sundays. Today is the second week that I'm doing it, but obviously this Sunday has been a little bit hectic. But because it's only the second week, I don't want to skip out. I really need to get myself on a schedule. But obviously this week has just been a little bit crazy. So after I do my onboarding, I'm also going to write my newsletter for the week. I have that all ready to go. That way it can automatically mail out while I'm at work tomorrow. So let me show you guys these scrubs and then I'm going to get to work and I'll talk to you guys in the morning time. So, so basically got two tops and two bottoms. Like I said, this is my first time going into a scrub store instead of just like buying scrubs online. If you guys didn't catch it when I mentioned it earlier, they do have scrubs as uniform that they will be providing for me and they're going to be custom sizing me tomorrow. They're probably going to have my name on them. If not, they're going to have the company name on them so I'm not sure if I'm gonna show them to you guys or not but that's super exciting and that's nice okay so here is the first top Ooh, ah, this is by the brand the brand Cherokee authentic workwear I've never been an extra small I've always been a little bit of a bigger girl but I think that I can fit this one this was $19.98 the hardest part about buying scrubs for me is that I'm tall and I don't like my scrubs to flood it's just not cute to me so I really like jogger scrubs that way if they're a little bit short it doesn't really matter you know it's like sweatpants but they did not have a lot of jogger scrubs at least not in gray so I did get this pair which are really really nice they match this top not the same brand but they do match the perfect gray they have the drawstring up top a couple of pockets look at the gold detail on the pockets I said oh that is cute honey they also have a gold zipper at the bottom I got these in a size medium this is by the brand Meraki these were $36.99 but they were actually on sale I don't know how much these are but I really like these pants the next set that I got I believe is the same brand this is the infinity brand this is what the top looks like I got this in an extra small I really like this one because the back of it is like stretchy so i know this is gonna fit really really well i think this is the set that i'm going to wear tomorrow 
Here you can see it has the drawstrings, some pockets, just goes down. These in a size small, they're also tall, and the best part is that they do come in at the ankle. So these are probably gonna fit me perfectly. This is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys, it is literally 3.34 a.m. Like I said, I have to wake up at seven. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish all of my onboarding stuff, write my newsletter, and get to bed. In the morning time, I may have to stop and get me breakfast. I did think about that. So I will talk to you guys in the morning time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's actually happening. I'm so, this is just like so different. Like, I don't know. We go to, I've gone to school my entire life, you know? And even though I've gone to a variety of different schools, a variety of different levels, you kind of always know what to expect, even if it's really, really vastly different. Like, I don't know, something about the first day of school is so different than like your first day at work. Like, I just don't know what to expect at all. And we all know that my last first day of work, somebody literally died, so. I don't really know what to expect, but I, I hope this is not the emergency room. There shouldn't be any of that. But it's also, it's just, I'm going to be real with you guys. I have just been praying the devil out of my spirit recently because one thing that has been coming up just like out of fear is like I have not been able to meet these people in person like I didn't do a working interview like after I did my couple of interviews I was just hired so I don't know what it looks like in there they could have roaches I doubt that's gonna happen um you, like you never you never know like you never I don't know what it's gonna be like in there I know that this was God's plan the way that it happened for me but I just wanted to share a little bit of what's going on in my mind where I'm just like I have no idea what to expect tomorrow as far as the people the team the space the job <sighs> I don't know but okay I have to get to work so I can get some more sleep before I have to wake back up. I do not want to be tired tomorrow. And I don't want to pop out of Celsius on my first day. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. Good morning. Ah! I'm freaking out. So... I could not go to sleep last night. Like it took me forever to finish everything that I needed to finish. I did not go to sleep until like five something. I set my alarm, I wanted to wake up at I think like, was it seven? And you guys know like even when you're tired, if you know that you have somewhere to be, you're not gonna oversleep, you know? Like you're kinda, you're just gonna be up. But I think I was like up so long that I was so tired and y'all I overslept. I cannot believe it and so no breakfast no makeup literally thank god i took a shower last night because i'd be going real stinky right now but i'm heading to work right now um i'm kind of upset like it's not that big of a deal not to wear makeup oh, my elbows look a little bit ashy emotional <laughs> it's not that big of a deal not to wear makeup one thing that we've learned together is that medicine is conservative so I definitely want to make sure I am conservative enough. I just don't want to pop up on day two or three and have makeup on and they'd be like, oh, but I mean, I guess I have makeup on in my interview, so I don't know. I'm heading there now. I should be still like five minutes early, but of course I would have wished to be more early than that, but good morning. Ah! Uh, obviously, I'm not going to bring my vlog camera inside, but if there is any point in time during the day like maybe I can update you guys during lunchtime I'm gonna try and take notes that way afterwards we can sit and we can talk about everything but um yeah I feel I feel okay I guess you know kind of nervous just curious to know like what it's gonna look like what it's gonna be like whatever it's gonna be like there's 20 people on the team so I hope you know I find a friend and I get along with everybody and um most importantly that I really enjoy working there and I enjoy working underneath my physician. So say a prayer for me, you guys. I'll check back in with you either at lunchtime or at the end of the day. I didn't even get to show you what my scrubs look like. I'll show you guys when I get home. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm alive. I'm in the break room, like the kitchen break room. <laughs> Okay, for my lunch time. I'm trying not to show you guys too much because I don't want to give away. I don't think they have anything. This is where we work here. But so far, so good. I'm having a great first day. It's definitely chill. 
I'm chilly. <laughs> So cold. Um, they already gave me my scrubs that I have to wear for the rest of the week, so that's great. Um, the woman who's training me, she's so nice, she's so sweet, so much energy. A little bit of sash, just how I like it. I love her. We're having a great time. Um, I'm just doing a lot of like figuring out all the different systems that I have to use, locking me in, doing my passwords, things like that, and um. I'm sorry guys, I'm literally like shaking because I'm so cold. <laughs> Medical assistant's on right now. I met her as well as one scribe and the woman who works at the front desk and billing and yeah, I'm just like not very good with names so I'm trying to remember everybody's name. But it helps that we have this little chat system that's on all our computers that we talk through throughout the day and so I'm seeing everybody's name with their pictures come up all throughout the day so it's helping me remember people's names. And, and then she said that after my break, I basically have to watch a whole bunch of long training videos. So she was like, don't eat too much because you may fall asleep. Those videos are boring, girl. I'm like, oh gosh, I already know. But yeah, that's the update. Like I said, so far, so good. It's definitely really chill. I'm so cold. <laughs> oh yeah, and as soon as I walked in, I was like, it's so pretty in here. Like, it's really, really cute. Everything, everything is just... It's great, it's great, everything is great. So um, again, I'm not gonna show you guys too much, but hopefully in the future, if I do like day in my life, some vlogs and stuff like that, you'll see a gist of a little bit of things, like some, some, some stuff, some things, but I'm excited. I'm glad that they're taking it slow on me, but I am excited to actually start and at least like shadow the MA to see what they'll do every day. I know it's gonna be like, the triages and stuff said so i think they do some surgeries so hope you guys can hear me i'm talking so low because i don't want anybody to come in and they don't know i've vlogged and that's a bit much but anyway yeah i'm gonna eat my lunch and I'm back again in my favorite little spot, the kitchen. So um, basically now I'm about to do some training videos and she told me that these are not gonna be fun. So I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know what I'm doing. I basically have to watch these videos. I think they're like an hour long. I have like a ton of them to watch and I have to take a quiz and then it's basically teaching me how to work the system, how to schedule people, HIPAA, all that fun stuff. So. I'm gonna sit you guys down right here so you can actually see me do something. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention that this is my laptop. This is the laptop that they gave me. And I'm um, doing everything on here, just getting it all set up to my preferences and stuff like that. So. see how dark it is in this room i will show you guys outside the window but you kind of can't see there is a hurricane coming tomorrow and it's so dark in this room let me show y'all what the trees are doing right now child oh the trees are going crazy the storm is coming <laughs> sorry that was annoying so i finally just finished um one of the trainings and i don't know how long i was sitting here i fell asleep a couple of times okay i was so bored like oof, and it doesn't help that i'm like really really tired so anyway yeah i gotta get back to it but <laughs> okay y'all so i just finished my first day of work <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Everything ran really, really smooth. It was 
really chill. I couldn't ask for anything better. Honestly, I feel like it is the perfect combination. Like, like I mentioned before when I did my previous working interviews, when you're working at a doctor's office, it's very different than working in the emergency room because you are consistently busy. Every 15 minutes, there's a new patient coming in. So you're always on your toes and you have to pay attention. The difference between this office and the last one that you guys saw me do a work interview for is that there are multiple providers. There's a staff of people to do the administrative work. There's a staff of people to be medical assistants. And there's a staff of providers. Like I said, there is about 20 people on staff all together. So it's not as many as the hospital, but it's not as small as that other practice where there were literally like four of them. So I really like that. It is a very diverse office, which is great, but I did end up finally getting to meet in person the doctor and say hi to her. But Mondays apparently are really crazy. So this was just a really busy and crazy day, but I just think that every day is probably really crazy. Again, comparing it to my previous experience, what I'm noticing is that I remember when I was working at the hospital, there was just like, so much training and stuff that we had to do on our own and I used to be like this is like taking another class and I wish that I could get paid to do this training but it's like if you want to get paid you have to do the training well basically I can't really do anything here now until I do my training but I just have to come in and do the training here but I get paid while I'm doing it so I actually really like that because before again it just felt like it was a lot it could just be really really boring so it was exciting to do it in the office that way I could get to know different people talk to people set my stuff up and see what the office life is like on a normal daily basis so that's basically all I did today I just got myself set up and we're not sure if we're coming in tomorrow because it is raining really really hard like I showed you guys earlier it's raining cats and dogs right now and um, it's supposed to be a hurricane warning but it's a pretty good chance that we are gonna come in, so I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm just going to prepare to leave early tomorrow to come to work. Oh, I just wanna grab something quick for dinner right now because I don't feel like cooking. Like, I am so tired. I'm literally just gonna go to sleep. I haven't done much, but I just didn't get enough sleep last night and I felt it today. Like, thank God I didn't have to do too much, like, really, thinking or anything i just had to be there show a good attitude show people my face like talk to people and like do a couple of like modules and well a lot of modules but oh i was tired another good thing is that i was really worried about my shoes you guys know i wanted to get shoes because i'm so used to being on my feet all day and then my feet hurting and then my back hurting but there was a lot of sitting like i said i can't wait to show you guys like the medical assistant it's not like amazing or anything but it's like nice to see that they like i'll have like a desk i'll have a space at a desk that i can come to and sit down at throughout the day so i don't think that having like super comfortable shoe choices is like a huge priority so that's good news i'm glad that worked out yeah, basically my training is going to be split up into two parts the first is the administrative part so once i get through all of the modules i'm going to learn how to schedule patients and stuff like that and then it's going to go into the medical assistant training where the medical assistants will be training me and so i know the medical assistants in passing I had to relate a couple of messages to them today as well as you know just saying hi and bye throughout the office stuff like that so um, I'm excited to actually like get to know them as they train me coming up I keep hydroplaning it is wet out here but yeah for most of the day I was hanging out with the administrative assistant group and they were all really really fun and nice like I, I love the energy I really think that I'm gonna like working here I think I'm gonna learn a lot so I'm really excited there was nothing to be nervous about I mean of course you know you're of course you're gonna be nervous for your first day so um I I really don't have much else to say like I wish I could do a story time like my first day at the hospital because like that was crazy but this ain't that thank god thank god because oh lord that was a lot so this was definitely like less eventful very chill I think that once I finally have like my own day like by myself like as a trained medical assistant that'll be like a different story but for right now they're starting me off slow and I appreciate that because to come in working eight to five you know what I'm saying like that is new for me I'm tired <laughs> so I'm glad that I can slowly kind of 
you know, work my way up and into I it. Say that so. I can really see myself like just creating my own schedule here, like either going to the gym before I come here or, you know, leaving for work. They're also in a really great location where I can go anywhere for lunch. Like that's pretty exciting. I'm not really sticking to my wellness journey right now, but once I get settled, I do want to get back to working out and eating healthy. So basically my plan is going to be for me to meal prep my dinners for basically the entire week, as well as make Maybe meal prep two to three breakfasts. I really need to find some breakfasts that I can meal prep. Um, again, for right now, I don't have to leave that early in the morning to get there. So if I need to wake up and make breakfast, that's fine. And if some days I need to stop and get breakfast, you know, treat myself, we can do that. But for the most part, I need to have like a schedule for what I'm gonna make for breakfast and what I'm gonna make for lunch and also dinner. And one of the girls had these really cute containers. I was like, oh, you know what? Okay, another thing as a treat for my first day of work I'm gonna buy some stuff off of Amazon y'all I don't need any excuse to buy stuff off of Amazon I just buy stuff because I like to go shopping but I need a lunch box now you know what I'm saying because I have to put my lunch in the refrigerator um I mean I don't have to but you know I just think it would be I need a lunch box to carry my lunch with me now so I'm gonna get me a lunch box I'm also gonna get me like some really cute to go meal prep containers stuff like that that'll make me excited for planning my lunch let me tell you I was starving okay but I was like thank god lunchtime and then after I ate lunch I'm honestly starving again oh my gosh there was this one moment that was so awkward like I mentioned to you guys about how I told them a little bit about my YouTube <laughs> I told them a little bit about my YouTube in my interview and so when we were chilling during lunchtime they were asking me you know hey so you know what else do you do and I was like oh you know I have to talk about my YouTube they pulled up my channel and started watching the videos right in front of me and it was so embarrassing because I just uh, it's just you know it's just awkward to like see people like watch you in front of you and then also it was awkward because the first video that she pulled up was the video of me talking about how I almost failed out of graduate school I was like don't watch that video what are we gonna do how fat are we gonna be do we want to get our normal or do we want to get nuggets I want nuggets no I want my normal um can you pull up sir I'm ready to order I haven't gotten a slushy since I've been home because it's just been raining I should have went the other day was that yesterday Ugh, my days are just running together I need to go to sleep like I just feel a little too tired and see and this is why I'm glad that I vlogged yesterday as well because if I just vlogged today there would have been no content even though i did get a lot more content during the day than i expected to so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up i'm gonna go ahead and end it here and just stay just stay tuned okay clearly going to be vlogging for the rest of my life <laughs> no i don't know how long i'm gonna be vlogging for it but this is just the first of many working vlogs the first of many day in my life vlogs of course leave in the comments anything that you guys want to see as far as breland's life and me working as a medical assistant and make sure you live each day to the fullest because you only live once and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching Bye. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Breland Barbie. Okay, bye. <laughs>